So hey guys, this may seem like an ordinary backpack, but if I turn it around, BAM! It's actually an animated backpack and you can customize it any way you want, and it's also one of the coolest backpacks that i ever seen in my life. I actually first heard about this when I was watching Unbox Therapy, and I decided to send Pixie email myself and see what happens, and they actually sent me this. It's still a prototype, it can do pictures and animations, and you can customize it in any way you want. And also it has some widgets and games, and right now the only game is Tetris. But why would you want to play Tetris on a backpack? It makes no sense. But I don't know, it just seems awesome! It's actually very easy to set up. You basically just pair with Bluetooth, and then once you have that set up, you just go to the gallery and pick whatever you want, basically images or animations. Select the one that you want, and then upload it straight to your backpack. And then once it's there, you don't have to worry about your phone. You can actually just shut off your phone if you want. And the battery life depends on what power bank you have inside. Right now I have like a 26,000 milliamp battery. So that should last quite a while. This backpack is actually really bright and vibrant. And you would not expect it to be this bright and vibrant. It's something that you just have to see in person basically. It's also very cushiony in the front, and it's also very durable, so you're not going to break it as easily. I'm still not going to mess around with it. I've seen a video on the Pix website where they're like bending it, dumping on it, and it worked perfectly fine. If the image is too bright, and let's say you're like at the mall or something, and you want to tone down the brightness, you can actually go to the app itself and tone it down, and then once you do so, it will automatically upload to your backpack right away, and it won't be as bright. So making your own custom image or animation is actually quite simple. You just want to go to the drawing tab and then just draw whatever you want. I'm just going to do a little smiley face. This is probably my best artwork yet, but I'm just going to upload it straight to my backpack and it only takes like a few seconds to send right to it. Isn't that beautiful? Now to actually be truthful, I did make some actual images and animations like this Pokeball here which is actually sitting in the grass and the sun is shining. I also made this Pac-Man animation which I thought came out really good and basically he's eating pellets along the way. I also made a Nintendo Switch logo which I actually posted on my Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and I thought that came out really nice. I also made the Triforce. Unfortunately I couldn't make it as a logo because the MOH couldn't fit but I did kind of make a new logo. It's not the same but it's something new that I want to try, so if I'm at a, like a convention, you'll see my name MOH and the, well, two of the Triforces, I guess I'm missing one of them. Make, maybe I'm missing the Wisdom one because I'm stupid or something, I don't know. I also made a Super Mushroom slash one up Mushroom slash Poison Mushroom and I thought it came out really nice. I also made something for Halloween time, which is basically a flashing skull. And also to bring up another subject, if something's too fast or too slow, you can actually change the frame rate, which I'm going to do so right now. I'm going to slow that down a little bit. So I'm going to change the frame rate to, let's say, 0.07. I'm just going to do that quickly, and now it should be a lot slower once it processes. And, and there you go. This backpack actually comes with a lot of pre-installed images and animations. So let's say you're a big fan of Sonic and you want Sonic on your backpack. Well, there you go. Maybe you're a fan of Minecraft and you want the Creeper on your backpack. Anyone like Hello Kitty? I know I have somebody that does. I actually really like this animation. Whoever made it deserves a lot of credit for it. Maybe you're going to a rave and you want something really flashy on your back. This one actually looks really cool. Looking at it really close up though, it looks really terrible. But when you look at it from far away, it looks really nice. I thought this one was really good. I know I showed it at the beginning of my video, but I just wanted to show it again because I thought it was really good. Here's the Pac-Man Ghost that I found on the market. I thought it looked really nice. Does anybody like Groot? Give it a thumbs up if you like Groot. Are you a Pepsi guy or a Coca-Cola guy? Let me know in the comments below. Maybe Pepsi is sponsoring you or something and you want to walk around with that logo on your back. Well, now you can. You can also have scrolling text on your backpack. I'm not sure what the limit is of how many characters you can have, but right now I have my name Master of Hyrule scrolling by. There are so many different custom animations and images I could be putting on here, but I could be spending all day doing that. Also, I forgot to mention that this backpack is water resistant. And last but not least, 
I never really showed what's inside the backpack. I showed more like what the backpack can do, but not where you can put your stuff. I mean, it's still a backpack after all. So actually opening up your backpack, you can see it has all the departments that you need. You can put your water bottles or whatever you want in here. You have your power bank here. That's where I put mine anyways. And you have your USB. This is basically going to be a power supply. So it always has to be connected if you want it turned on. Back here you have the spots for your laptop. Maybe a couple books or something. But that's just about it for the backpack part. Nothing really different compared to other backpacks. It has basically the same thing. As you can see, I already put my stuff in there just to see what happens and how much it can fill. I'm also a backpack stuffer, so I like to really pack it up. So guys, would you be interested in getting the Pix backpack? Let me know in the comments below if you consider getting one of these. I'll have the site link and the Kickstarter in my description. And please give it a thumbs up. And as always, have a smashing day.